Fifteen amphibious assault vehicles packed with both US and Ukrainian Marines secured a beach south of the port city of Odessa before heading inland as part of the annual multinational naval exercise Sea Breeze. This year the US Navy deployed two ships, the USS Ross, a guided missile destroyer, and this ship, the USS Whitby Island which acted as a launching pad for the amphibious operation. The Black Sea is bounded by six countries linking southeastern Europe and western Asia. Since the Russian annexation of Crimea in 2014, the security situation here has been very tense at times. This footage shows a Russian fighter jet flying over the USS Donald Cook in the Baltic Sea earlier this year. A similar incident happened on the same ship in the Black Sea in 2014, a move condemned by the US as unnecessary provocation. For exercise sea breeze, however, the US Navy experienced no such hostility. I, I would tell you that our interactions with the Russians so far in the Black Sea have been nothing but professional. Um, we've had them sailing off our beam uh, much of the time in the Black Sea, and. Uh, Nothing but professional. They're out there. We know they're out there. Uh, we're not hiding from them. We are it's sort of hard to hide us. We're large. Um, but we're, we're here and uh, no, no issues. For Ukraine, a long-standing NATO partner and the other allies that operate here, the importance of the Black Sea cannot be underestimated. The Black Sea was always uh, the window to the Europe for the old Eastern Slavic community. Now it's for Ukraine. We see the Black Sea again as a place of different political interests are connected. And of course, if a global power like NATO or United States uh, will not uh, take care or have at least some presence in this area, it, it can be a huge challenge to the whole European security. For the Ukrainian Navy, exercises such as Sea Breeze provide the perfect opportunity to strengthen ties with their partners. It uh, повышает уровень доверия между военнослужащими разных стран мира и стабилизирует безопасность и обстановку в Черноморском регионе. Поэтому для нас это очень важно. Мы можем найти новых друзей, поделиться с кем-то опытом и сблизить наши страны, построить между ними мосты дружбы. It is this continued cooperation and support which was reiterated during the recent NATO summit in Warsaw. While it was recognized that Russia has continued to build up its presence in the Black Sea, the NATO position is to remain purely defensive. When a regional navy meets a navy that, you know, comes from halfway across the globe, that's an exchange of ideas. It's not a matter of escalating towards any event. If you look at the sea breeze schedule of events and things we do, these are the same types of interactions and maritime events air events that we do all over the globe. For NATO Channel in Odessa, Ukraine, this is Lawrence Cameron.